Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and today's video is a very special mail call from my online friend Jay at Jay's Diecast Creations in Long Island, New York. If you're not already familiar with Jay's channel, which is not yet a year old, then please follow the links that I put in the description so you can become part of the JDC family. It has really caught fire. Not only because he's got a, a just a warm, gregarious personality, but he makes outstanding customs, mostly in the wastelands genre. That's his specialty. And Jay did a big giveaway with every 100 new subs that he got while the channel was growing. And most recently, his roll-off drag races have really caught everybody's attention. It's one of my go-to channels. And if anybody can be a true online friend, it's Jay Conklin to me. And his girl Amanda is a special friend as well. They both supported my channel for the longest time. The genesis of this whole package started way back in the summer when I asked Jay if he could try to source for me two separate 1959 Cadillac Coupe de Ville's for my upcoming Fury Road Giga Horse build. Uh, he did some horse trading and he came up with one and he also connected me directly with one of his online buddies in the UK where I got the second one and the question came what else do you need I'm going to send you a box to Switzerland I want to fill it up and all I could think of I, th I said some Gorilla Glue I can't find that over here and then yesterday this box arrives 7.6 pounds that's a lot of Gorilla Glue <laughs> So let's open it up and see what's inside. You better pour yourself a fresh cup of coffee because 7.6 pounds is why. <laughs> okay, Jay says top open first. Let me do my best to get in here. Bear with me, everybody. I know it's really expensive to send things over here to me and that's why I don't get a whole lot of mail but lately it's just been coming raining cats and dogs and that's been fantastic so thanks for the effort there Jay I said I want to help share the shipping costs and he said I'd have no part of that but Jay and Amanda are expecting twins don't you know and they said we're going to open a registry online and you can contribute to that so i absolutely will so that they are paid back properly for this extreme act of kindness here okay we're getting closer to the payload i think i still have the top up top And I don't know what's inside, guys. We're finding out together here. I'm going to leave the box where it is just until I get started, and then I'll move it out of the way, and that'll, that'll be easier. Okay. Andrew and Petra, here's some mail. I better open this up first, get things started. JDC stickers, love that. That's going to go right on the work mat, of course. And here okay it's a novel all right i'll read it online and if i have to edit anything out i will dear andrew and petra petra's my beautiful wife she comes from austria where do i even start first off thank you for being the nicest guy in the world you have been behind me since i launched my channel and i can't express 
how much each and every comment you leave means to me. You created the cover image for Amanda's birthday build-off without me even asking. You are a great positive influence behind the scenes through our emails and on the front line donating your beautiful art to the needs of children at your local Goodwill. You are a great man and an example of what more people should be like. I'm glad we have connected and I truly value our friendship. Oh yeah, and you sent Amanda those awesome customs and chocolate bars all the way from the Swiss Alps. Happy story. As you know, Amanda is a type 1 diabetic. After dinner one night recently, she had calculated her insulin numbers, I guess, I don't, and we watched a movie. An hour or two later, she's getting ready for bed, and the bells and whistles start going off. Urgent sugar low, the scariest thing I've come to know. Turns out her new PDM, her lifeline, basically, had a mishap and delivered a double dose on a time delay. She was being overloaded with insulin, and it was already on board her body. We don't keep chocolate in the house usually because it's packed with sugar, and it's addicting for her. As I realize what has just happened, I go into survival mode as every second counts. I start rummaging through the cabinets, refrigerator, and the closet looking for the good stuff, and bam, in the corner of the snack cabinet rests a bag of potent, sweet Swiss chocolates. Between a half a bar of chocolate and a cup of sweet tea, I kept her awake for another hour, but she was okay. I hope this brings some joy to you both, as I'm actually fighting off emotions as I write this. Thank you both for sending those sweets. Okay, back to business. Sorry it took so long to get this package out to you. There was a direct order to wait, as Amanda had something planned. Not her fault. I took forever and take the blame 100%. I do believe we have made it worth the wait, more or less, enclosed as a token of appreciation. First off, the Cadillac, sent from Ken in Tennessee. I've enclosed another, as from the looks of it, you may need to widen the bottom half of the Gigahorse. I've also scattered some random castings throughout the box that I thought you might enjoy and will bring some diversity to your channel. Gorilla Glue Gel, as requested, and a lifetime supply of Petra's favorite chocolates, Hershey's. <laughs> Freeze them for the rainy days. I dismantled a few muscle machines for those big motors you were in search of, as well as a Johnny Lightning kit you can do what you want with. There are a few surprises, and a special one from Amanda, as well as a piece of Long Island. A few stickers for you, and the rest of the water slides I ordered, you will use them more than me. I hope this package makes the trip in one piece and finds you both well. This is all yours now. Do as you please and enjoy. P.S. Amanda jokingly says she hopes you like hers more than mine. Ha <laughs> ha She's just kidding. Not really. LOL. From Long Island, New York, with love, Jay and Amanda. And it's, you will know which one is hers. Look closely. Okay, you two, that is, uh, yeah, you got me in the feelers with that, too. You're good friends, both of you. And this has been something I've waited to do for a long time. So, open these last. Open these last. Will do. Um, all right. I'm going to put the box down, and I'll bring things up one at a time, so you can see. Well, that's pretty full. Okay, I had asked for a Gorilla Glue Super Gel. I can get anything on Amazon or eBay, but I end up paying a whole lot for shipping overseas so that'll keep my little cars together keep my fingers glued together probably too all right right up top there good start here's the Johnny Lightning customizing kit now I've never had a Johnny Lightning until Paul from Diecast Graveyard 
sent a, a mail package that I opened up about a week ago, and it had a hearse in it. Now this one got all kinds of extra engines and wheels and rims and axles and bases, interior, exterior pieces. Okay, it's a 1927 Ford T Roadster. 560 possible variations. Outstanding. Jay, thank you for that. That'll be a fun project for me, for sure. <laughs> We're on next vacation. I am going in style. It's a Majorette limousine, 1 to 58 scale. Okay, Majorette are made in France, so this one somehow got all the way across to America and it has made its way back home. My town of Basel, Switzerland is on the border on the Rhine River between here and France and Germany as well. Very cool. All right. Now let's see what we've got. Some farm equipment here. I do like these little guys. That's a Lesney. I think, and, uh, what does it say? Combine Harvester. Good one. I do give my builds away to kids when they're all done, and when I was little, I had equal enjoyment in the sandbox with my heavy equipment as I did racing on the orange track. Okay. Now, I recognize this as, oh, it's a custom 72 Chevy Love. I just finished a uh, uh, 62. I'll give you a sneak preview. This doesn't come out till the end of the, the month and the, the last build of the year for the Four Horsemen Invitational. And we had to take a 62 that started out slammed down and hot rotted just like that and turn it into a shop truck. And so you get the first glimpse of that 62, and now I've got a 72 Love Chevrolet. Thanks, Jay, for those. I know you're thinking of what I could use and, and uh, have some fun with. Now, here comes some stuff. There's a no name, but it's got a sweet set of wheels on it. It's a Daytona Charger. Great big hopped up engine. Jay, I hope I didn't just break this. But the big spoiler came off the back. That's an easy fix, though. All right. Going to get to work on that. Dropped one. Liberty Walk. It's a uh, Nissan 35 GTRR version 2. You know what? I have uh, not done too many JDMs, but I'm trying to get a few more in my uh, pile so that I can do these. And I've been looking for this one, any form of a, a Nissan 35 GT. And I've got a special idea already that I want to do with this. Jay, when I do any of these, of course, you get the shout out and you get the credit for those. Got some more loose ones in here. Oh, Jay knows I like my exotics. Lamborghini Huracan Coupe. Yes, please. All right, now line these guys up a little neater so they look in order. I did, I, I remember saying, Jay, anything with big engines, whether I use it or just uh, cannibalize it, I'd love to. Another nice set of wheels on that, and it's, um, mm -mm -mm. Jay, my eyes are not so good anymore. I don't know. I gotta look that up. I think it looks like a prowler. All hopped up like that, beauty. Who doesn't love a Porsche? I had this poster on my bedroom wall when I was a teenager. 
and I'm very fortunate now to be a Porsche owner and a driver. This is a no name, but that doesn't matter to me because any Porsche is a beautiful Porsche. And you know what? I like to get them in this condition because the rougher they are when I begin, the better they look when I'm all finished. <laughs> you might think I know what I'm doing. Whoa! Fashion violation here. This is a Hot Wheels Silver Bullet. Wonder how old that is. I'll have to get online and see. Ouch! Sunglasses are required all of a sudden. All right, nice lineup here, Jay. Thank you. Look at that. You can't go wrong. Road Champs. Okay. Nine twenty H Porsche. Uh oh. Stick shift came out. Steering wheel. No worries. I fix that easy. I'll put it right back in there and lock it up so I know where it is. All right. Porsche one and Porsche two special line. Thank you. Look at this one got dug up from the backyard. Jay's house. <laughs> no problem. It's a 928. Oh, play art. I have only had uh, two play art cars. Maybe just one of them is on my YouTube channel. Uh, there with the Porsche garage. Okay. Hot Wheels. No, what's the name, guys? Online with the knowledge. Help me out. It's a little fantasy car. That could become a Gasland Scout car. I'm working on some of those right now. <laughs> okay, check me if I'm wrong. I remember this from your live feed, one of the live feeds. Jay uh, lives on Long Island, and the new I'm a hockey nut from Canada. And the dreaded New York Islanders, ooh, in blue and orange, NHL. This is the Zamboni. That's what they clean the ice with between periods. And I may have commented on that live feed. I, I don't usually see them live. I see them after the fact. And uh, look at that. That could become a Toronto Maple Leafs Zamboni. What do you think? Would that be a violation? And here are the long-awaited and very sought-after Cadillac 1959 Coupe de Vils. And they look like this. Uh, I guess they're a couple years old, so I just don't see them. There is no peg hunting in Switzerland. Believe me when I tell you. So I've got two... Uh, this is the one that I got from Ricky Williams. Jay connected me with him in the UK. And as he said, I'm going to have to do some cutting. And there is potential for disaster there. So now I've got a little uh, safety valve in case things go wrong. This is the project. Now Jay and Amanda are expecting twins. And Jay has not formally announced the build or date, but he said, I'm thinking of doing something like on the lines of double trouble. So now what would you think if I did this giga horse and you helped me find double Coupe de Vils, one, two, double dualies on the back and double V8 engines. That looks like double trouble to me. And I'll make that part of my Fury Road vehicle ensemble. All right, Jay, double trouble. Thanks for hooking me up with all of that. And now I can get to work. Sometime in the spring is perfect. And that's uh, May when the babies are coming. Two girls, by the way, in case you don't know everybody. So that is great. Okay.
a box of fun with a first. What is that going to be? All right. Now, inside, great. I just don't have the wheels. Lots of big engines, exhaust. That's going to be a great help to me for my builds. There's a 55 gasser base. Jay got this from a contact he made at a local uh, Hot Wheels club. So you can take a gasser and drop it down to normal height. And could this... Oh, this is a Diora. And it's an original Red Lines. And I didn't have any Red Lines till one week ago when Paul from Diecast Graveyard sent some. Not this one. And he sent some Red Line wheels. So I could actually do the job, and I have a feeling that I'm going to be on the hook to be the Red Lines guy in Switzerland. Okay, steering wheel, interior, some new glass. Is that all to say? Yeah, there's a crack in the glass. All right, parts for the Diora. And Paul and Jay did not talk beforehand. I happen to know that. But they were both thinking the same thing. Yes, sir. Going to get to work on those. Jay, unbelievable stuff. Okay, taking a one-minute pause just to clean up my area, and we'll get right back to it. Okay, I am coming back at you, reloaded my coffee, I hope you did too, and this is what's left in the box, that makes up a good part of the 7.6 pounds, special packages with labels, caution, contents are deadly, but cool. Is your imagination running wild like mine is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, look at this. Jay, some axles came loose here. I can fix that up. Is that a JDC Custom? I wonder. We had to do a Gaslands Beetle a while ago as part of the Three Blind Mice. That is deadly and cool at the same time. Jay, I'll fix that up. I know how that goes right back on. I love it. Okay, look at the little add-ons there. Whoops, now i got to put it right up on the lift and do that. These things don't always travel well. Look at the deadly skulls and flags. Outstanding. Jay is a Gaslands maestro. And I like that one a lot. Okay. Putting that together with the parts so I can put it back. Jay, if that's a custom from you, and I'm sure it is, very cool. Thank you. Be very careful. Fragile. A piece of Long Island. <laughs> okay. You get 10 out of 10 for your packing skills, Jay. I don't even know how that comes off. There it is. Okay, a piece of Long Island, everybody. There's that, and there's that. Oh, look, okay. Some shells. You are surrounded by beaches, I know that. So that's cool. By the way, smell the salt water on there. New York City was home for me for a little while, so when we get traveling again and get out of Switzerland and on an airplane, 
we definitely want to get back to the city and visit you there. Shells, fragile is right. Look at that. Oh, there's one more. I think it's, it's like a Russian doll. They're smaller and smaller. Very thoughtful. I collect shells from all over the world. I've been to 72 different countries now in my uh, very exciting work career and vacations. And these are free to pick up and bring home. I forget where they all come from, but these ones are well marked as a piece of Long Island. In a recent mail call, I got a piece of Canada from Pop's Reclamation, and he sent me a maple leaf. How apropos is that from his front yard in the fall season? And, okay, Jay, Amanda, putting these carefully back in here. And this is not lost on me, the sentiment here. I'm a world traveler, and that's now part of my collection. These come last. This is a sweet treat and a surprise. And I also have some excellent boxes here now. Oh, there's more security on this one. Okay, I'm going to have a sweet treat and nine fingers when this is all done. Yes, people, I am that incompetent. There we go. Should be able to get into that now. Press those back. In we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. First things first, because you see it immediately. There's a custom JDC diorama, and I have just started making these myself with inspiration from Jay and Benjamin Pop at BP Custom Creations. And they make such a difference in showing off the glamour shots. Look at that. Beautiful. And so that I can continue on, how many? Wow, these are the bases that come. They're little chalkboards. Jay said from the dollar store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will make these because I'm having a great time using techniques that I got from Jay and Ben and shows them off very well. And then I can reuse these because when I give the cars away, I don't give the dioramas away. Okay, bonus treat. Super. Watch for this in an upcoming video because you're going to see it. And, okay. Jay said, is there anything Petra would like to have? And I said, okay, believe it or not, we live in Switzerland, the land of chocolates. But she has got a Jones for Hershey's from Pennsylvania. And, of course, you can't get them over here. So Jay said, I got your back. And I am going to make sure that Petra gets all of these. These will get put away somewhere. No, she'll get them all. And I predict those will be gone by Christmas. She's got a serious chocoholic problem. All right. It just gets better and better and better. Off to the side. Open these last. My prediction is a couple of custom cars. And I don't know which one is from Jay. And the letter said one of them is from Amanda. And he said, you'll know the difference. So. All right. With great anticipation. Here comes the first. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. 
It is a beauty. Canadian issue. How did you do that? You guys, maple leaves on everything. And this is a JDC. All right, that one is initialed. Wow, it's got everything on it. Look at that. There's a JDC under the spoiler. All right. Got some beautiful wheels on there. J's die cast creations. That's a one of you guys. How many of those are out there? Got a Porsche license plate on the bottom. And I just want to try to read he's highlighted. Sporty shifter. Made in Hong Kong. That is all tricked out. Detailed on the bottom. Decals, logos, hood pins on there. The vents are highlighted. Tail lights all done up. Look at that. J D C Custom. I got one. Look at that. Put it right on that diorama. Jay, you know me. I'm a Porsche guy through and through. Let me use all these boxes again too. So that means the last one has got to be from Amanda. Now Amanda has the coolest last name you guys. She is Amanda Ferrari. Trying to get my wife to change her name to Petra Porsche. No luck so far. And Amanda subbed up to my channel uh, last spring when I was having a, a Porsche Invitational and trying to reach 1,000 subs and I got this new sub from Amanda Ferrari and I thought it was a joke you know just kind of rubbing my nose in it because Ferraris are cooler than Porsches but it turns out she's the real deal and Jay said that's my girl and Amanda has been a supporter ever since then and I did send three different Ferraris for the Free the Ferraris birthday challenge. And here comes one back. Oh, yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> Canada love from Miss Ferrari. Oh, Amanda, thank you. And it is also autographed AF Canada. It's a 935. And you know, what? Amanda does outstanding work. That's a matte black finish, white roof, Canada red and white wheels on there. Fog lights are done up. This is a uh, beauty tricked out the exhaust on there question how many of you have an amanda ferrari custom you don't i do and amanda's nickname i learned during the free the ferraris invitational amanda gets called pebbles and there's a story behind that and my wife petra has a nickname for me for the longest time and my petra is pebbles also, <laughs> there's another connection. Petra means uh, rock in Greek, and she's pretty small, especially standing beside me. So I call her Pebbles, and it turns out Jay and I both have a Pebbles in our lives. And I want to say thank you so much, Amanda, and congratulations on the very exciting news of the twins that are coming in the spring. And Petra and I were talking about this unboxing this morning, and she said we will definitely get on their online register and uh, make a, a big uh, gift uh, investment in that that is equal to and surpasses the cost of shipping this box all the way from New York to Switzerland. So that's coming. As soon as I have a link for your online registry, we're going to do that. Dueling Porsches from Jay and Amanda Chocolates, Loose Cars, Cadillac, Eldorados, Giga Horse stuff, a letter from the heart, everything. You guys, it could not have been 
a more exciting, special, and emotional unboxing for me. I want to thank you both for doing that. You're my friends. You're such great people, and I wish you the best, not just for your YouTube channel, which I know is going to continue to blow up, but for the little family that's getting started. And uh, one day, one day, I hope we can meet Jay and Amanda and share a, a fresh cup of coffee and just talk Hot Wheels Talk Life. All right, you're my friends, and I thank you from my heart and from my house to yours. A very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Same to you, everybody. Thanks for visiting my channel today. I hope you'll have a wonderful Christmas season, each of you filled with love, filled with happiness like my day was today. And I'll see you on the next one. Saturday uploads coming for sure. It's coffee time.